Another feature you'll see in Better Angel 135 or higher is a, uh, a lot more flexibility in terms of how you display the ladder interface. So um, the ladder interface as standard looks like this, but if you go and click on settings here or the settings here, we put that here just so you can find it immediately within the ladder interface. You don't have to go up to the general settings to find it, you can just click here to find it. Will allow you to change uh, a significant amount more than you have in previous versions. So um, the number of ladders you can change displayed from here, but you can also now add in a large number of rows. And uh, you can also modify the ladder cell height, the gap between ladders, what the staking area looks like. And if I scroll down, this is where it gets more exciting, uh, you can see you can modify the font size and the display on the ladder. So basically what we've done in this version of Better Angel, version 135 or higher, is you can just modify the ladder however you wish. And you can change all sorts of elements uh, within the ladder display. If I undock the ladder, uh, it would be to see this a little bit better. So I'm going to undock the ladder and pop it up here. And then I'll click on the ladder settings area here and then you'll start to see how uh, the behavior of the ladder changes as we modify elements of it. So the staking area up here is quite a large box. So to give you more rows, um, you can have legacy, standard, compressed one or compressed two. And as compressed indicates, it gets rid of all of the superfluous descriptive text around the staking area. Um, and there are variations of that. So you can go back to exactly how it was before. Um, you can go to the standard one as it is now. Um, but you can also have compressed versions of the ladder, which gradually make it smaller and smaller and smaller. So, for example, I know what each one of these boxes mean, and I don't need a descriptive text around it, and I don't need other information, you know, flapping around the edge of it. I'd rather use that extra space on the screen for more rows. So you can now change the staking area. Um, in fact, let me go to compressed too, so we can squeeze more stuff in there. You can change the number of ladders, and this has been a feature that's been available for ages. So you know you can go from one to ten ladders if you want. That's fine. But what we've also done in this version is you can actually put rows on. So what we've done is we've given you a canvas effectively. The new version of Better Angel has a canvas on it, and you paint the ladders the way that you see fit. So you can decide how many ladders there are, the number of rows that you have on the ladder, uh, and what each individual ladder looks like. So let's modify a few elements on here. We'll say the ladder cell height is 20, and you can see we increase the size of the ladder. 50, complete overkill. 10, probably too small. 12, you can get away with on, on this screen. Your screen may vary. 13 makes it small and tight. Um, and there's a little bit of uh, room left between the ladders. So if I say I don't want any gaps, then it compresses the ladder down. But what I can also do is say, actually, I want uh, two lots of rows here. So we're displaying five ladders. So let's display six over two rows. You can actually see we've got a three by two ladder display. So if you're doing greyhounds or a six runner race or a football market, etc., etc., you can actually create a ladder pane effectively. You can um, tell it how you want to see loads of different ladders all on one screen, and you can change the font and size and text and the staking. And it's very, very flexible. Um, we've also done other stuff as well. You need to watch a separate video for that to do with the ladders. Um, but this display allows you to modify. Um, the ladder pane. So you can put as many ladders on there. Um, and of course, as with all things on Bet Angel, once you've done that, you can actually save that. So you could call this my new Greyhound ladder trading screen or something. Um, and then if you want to switch between your normal display, the new display, or any other display, you can just select that from the drop down menu. So this um, option up here and this option here, this one is the how the screen is displayed in this one is individual settings. That will allow you to flick between having a ladder pane or having the ladder docked or undocked and this will allow you to change to multiple versions um, of however you want. So you basically you can set it up exactly the way that you want, save it and then flick between the two displays very very quickly. Um, we've also changed the enhanced area as well. The enhanced area um, if I switch back down to four ladders, a 4x2 display 4x2, stud, stud work wall and all that. If I, um, some of you won't get that, but don't worry. If I click on the enhanced ladder, then this displays now um, enhanced charting over here. So we've upgraded the charting available uh, that's embedded within the ladder. And 
depending upon how you want that to be displayed, you can change the width of that. So if we modify this and make it slightly bigger, uh, actually about probably about 580, no 600. Anyway, you can see that I'm modifying elements of the um, enhanced ladder display so that you can actually display ladders over here and um, advanced charting. And of course, you can modify advanced charting to display whatever you like. You can save these settings. Um, create your own view of the market and then you've got that embedded next to all the ladders and the great thing about this is as you move your mouse over um, it will actually modify the uh, underlying runner so you can actually trade multiple runners multiple um, parts of the market and it will instantly change in the uh, background for you which is quite helpful and you can see that is why we have here mouse context switching sensitivity. That's a long-winded long way of saying if I move my mouse over a ladder, um, display the chart or switch to that chart, you know, medium speed, um, very fast or very slow. So I've got it set to medium at the moment, but if you want it to change instantly, then you basically put it on highest. If you want it to change really slowly, then you put it on lowest. But we've set it to medium at this particular stage in time. Um, so that is the ladder pane. But like I said, there's another video which tells you something else that we've done uh, with the ladders, which you'll find very interesting. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.